Charles Davis, NFL analyst. What can we expect from the NFL this year? Well, I think you're going to have more of the same, which is a league that continues to grow, expand, um, change itself in good ways, especially now in terms of player safety, which is so important for everyone. That's probably going to be the number one thing we'll continue to talk about. But the players will adjust. The game will continue to thrive. And if anything else, if it's safer, so much the better. We'll get that next generation of kids that we always want to continue to play, and we won't lose them that way. The 49ers had a phenomenal year, but they dissipated in the wrong time. Do you think they could come back this year and win it all? Oh, without a doubt. They have that type of a team. They've got a team that's built not just for this year coming up, but for a few years beyond that, especially at the quarterback position with Colin Kaepernick being such a youngster. Remember, he's only got 10 starts in the NFL, one of them in the Super Bowl. I think the future is huge for them. A great year in the offseason in terms of free agency and drafting, and they have a chance to be a very, very good football team for a number of years. What about here in L.A.? We all like the Chargers, and they disappoint us year after year. What's going to happen this year? Well, it's, it's, it's breath air. It, excuse me, a, a, fresh, a, a, a breath of fresh air for them because everything's different. For the last three or four years, what's been the talk going into the season? Will North Turner be fired? Will A.J. Smith be back? Well, all that's gone now. It's Tom Telesco. It's Mike McCoy as the head coach. They've drafted Manti Teo, which, you know, led to a few jokes early, but he's meeting them head on and handling that quite well. But in a sense, in their draft in rounds one, two, and three, they have three guys with first round grades. I think that's terrific, and I think you'll see Phillip Rivers have a chance to bounce back to form, getting some help from DJ Fluker, their first round offensive tackle. So now this is a year the Chargers can just go play and not worry about will my coach be fired after week one. Take a step